humans. Uh, getting back into Fruit of Grisaia today, uh, I am, as with other games I'm doing, I am now streaming everything live on Twitch uh, and recording it for YouTube. So if you want to join me live on Twitch for this, it's over at uh, twitch.tv slash RavelYT. And uh, otherwise, you can swim for the YouTube videos to come up just like normal. Uh, the difference is you'll have a little chat over there and stuff like that. So uh, if you'd rather not have some of the stream stuff in the YouTube videos, let me know. And I can change what records from the stream, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, it's been a minute since I've played Fruit of Ursaia, uh, and so I kind of owe a lot of <laughs> videos uh, to those waiting for it. So um, I'm just going to hop into it and get going here. Hopefully the audio levels are okay. I haven't had too much chance to test them, but hopefully everything sounds okay. So where was I? Right. Right here. Kind of, kind of am. Yeah, more or less. You enjoying pretending to be my guardian? What was that? What did you come here for? She's so offended. I'm sorry. Yuji's an asshole. Although I'm grateful that you're acting as guarantor of my background, I don't need a guardian at my age. Kindly get lost. I don't... I'm sure I was. If you think you can shut me up by bringing up my childhood, you've got another thing coming. I'll repeat the question. What did you come here for? If it's about work, I thought I had to break. I had a break for the moment. Yeah, ne. There's no problem at present. If you forced me to come up with one, you being here would top the list. It's going to be a pain in the ass to make up an excuse when I go back to the classroom. Don't increase my workload. Learning some things. I prefer to avoid lying outright where possible. Lies are like colors. The more you pile up, the blacker things get. Inter ah, that's a decent little line. I'm sorry stream stuff going on. Hopefully it works itself out there. Get enough of that place and things turn just as black. So and that's when he was, sorry about that. That's when, sorry. Right. I don't need you to tell me that. I'm handling this by myself, which is precisely why I don't need you giving me surprises like this. <sighs> what are you serious? You really did just come to see me? So Ah, right, cell phone. Sorry, I'll make sure to keep it around from now on. こちらからの呼び出しに対して、15分以上返答がなかった場合、逃亡と見なして何人か送りつけるわよ。分かってる。I'm aware. それと。県外に出るときは事前に申請書を提出すること。Where of that as well? 
ちゃんと電車のチケット用意してあげたのに何やってんのよ I hate trains, as you know. だからって200キロも歩くバカがどこにいるのよ The kind that's standing in front of you. Also, the walk was close to 175 kilometers. Why would you. What? <laughs> that's stupid. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. I don't know. めんどくせえなこの女みたいな目で私をじっと見るのやめなさい<笑> kind of kind of 泣くわよ、no. <笑>ちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょ自己死したくなければおかしな真似はしないこと。分かった。Fully understood. Understood. Orders received. Major Harudera. A cat. Dude. Got a bunch of boxes and storage over here on my left, and my cat's just like, oh, it's a playground now. <laughs> あなたエスパーなの<笑> Please don't spread it around. It's a pain in the ass to have to bet a spoon every time I introduce myself. あのね。I do understand. Don't mind my jokes. まったく。Who knows? I get that a lot. Hurry up and get going. You don't have the time to play around here either, do you? You're right. My bad, JB. Yeah. Interesting. 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 So, still trying to figure out who it is I work for, but、uh, they clearly are some weird militaristic organization. She drives off. I retrieve a cell phone from my school bag. Although I pretended otherwise, I have been carrying my work phone around just as ordered. Black low profile slide phone I received from JB specifically for company business. I slide the screen up quickly, input the unlock pin, and call up the menu screen. Although it looks like a perfectly normal cell phone, any calls made from this machine pass through a special encrypted line. There's only one entry in the contacts. That single number is listed under JB, Julia Bardera, naturalized name Hardera Uria. My direct supervisor at my part time job. If you're gonna come, at least give me an advance warning. I click my tongue in irritation, slide the phone shut, and stuff into the pocket of my uniform so I can respond instantly to any future contact. Howard Era Uria, alias JB. As the woman said herself, she's something of a pain in the ass. She'll go nearly half a year without a single call, and then suddenly it's a brisk standby in the designated point, where, of course, she has some incredibly troublesome job waiting to push on me. No, it's almost better when there's actually a job. Sometimes she leaves me at the rendezvous point for more than an hour without any contact. And then when I finally get the call, I've been sitting around waiting for it. And then when I finally get the call, I've been sitting around waiting for it. It's a curt situation resolved, and I go right back home again. Well, I do get a travel fee deposited into my account just for heading to the standby point, so I guess it's. I suppose it's not a complete fool's errand in that sense, but. Sometimes I can't help but feel that my time on this earth isn't being spent efficiently. Something of a behind the scenes part time job, and the work would be troublesome to explain to others if they asked. Of course, it's also not the kind of job I can just casually quit when I want to. Uh, well, I'm stream disconnected. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep recording.
More importantly, this is a position that I inherited from my master. I wouldn't walk away even if I could. Well then, how should I explain this to Mane and company? Mm, not much I can do about that. I don't think I'll be able to pass her off as a cookie peddler after all. I passed through Miyama Academy's school gate, dragging myself along on heavy feet. As expected, the instant I show my face in the classroom, Amani jumps all over me. Most of my classmates are gathered on the far side of the room, apparently having watched me from the window. And as I enter, they're all looking at me with questions in their eyes. <laughs> Blondie? Naturally, Amane is the one who steps forward to interrogate me, as if declaring herself the representative of the class. That said, the rest of the group doesn't seem to be disinterested either. Makina is staring at me with a dazed expression, and Sachi is clutching her hands together in front of her chest, waiting for my words with bated breath. As for Michiru, for some reason she's glaring at me like I kicked her puppy. Sakaki, on the other hand, is sitting primly, primly in her seat, reading a book, as if to announce she's above such things, but judging from the way she hasn't turned the page once since I came in, we've probably got her attention as well. Told you already, didn't I? She's my superior for my part-time job. Yeah, I lost both my parents when I was a kid, so I have to earn my own living expenses. A little difficult to summarize, but, well, I get rid of garbage or crawl into various places and take care of the cleaning. That's what you call dirty work. I, am I, like, cleaning up dead bodies from, like, questionable hits and stuff? That's kind of hilarious. And concerning. To be honest. That's right. She's on the management side, so she doesn't get her hands dirty. JB. JB? Her real name is Harudera Yuria. JB is a pet name. She's a naturalized citizen. I think she's originally German. I don't really remember. I pull out the chair from my seat and drop my bag on top of the desk with a deliberately loud thump. The questioning over now? You've satisfied your curiosity, then go sit down. The class is going to start. Just as I speak, the first bell rings and Makina and Sachi scurry back to their seats. But the large woman who's been interrogating me, her expression still smoldering with irritation, pulls out the chair from the seat in front of mine and sits down heavily. What? Spit it out then. That's your big question? What a joke. I'm sick your nose in my face. You've got a mustache starting there. <laughs> so freaking rude, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, just screwing with you. Sounds fun. Give it a try. Money's punch is slow and lacking in serious intent. I dodge it easily with a slight swaying movement of my upper body. Think this over calmly. Do I look like a man who could be in a relationship? あんたなら妙に納得できるというか。これ<笑> Well, so this question finally came up. 
On paper, I was studying abroad in Canada, or some similar lie they came up with for my forged personal history. But if they start pushing into that story, this will just drag on. Answering somewhat honestly now should make for less trouble down the line, anyway. Before I came here, I guess I was a freeloader of sorts. Kimo? If you want to make it sound fancier, maybe a gigolo? <laughs> I was being supported by an unrelated old woman. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. No, she's a friend of the other woman. I started mooching off her after the first one died. In exchange, she worked me brutally hard on the job. She doesn't have anything to complain about. Amani shuts her eyes, slaps her hand on her forehead, and heaves a heavy sigh. Right. I'll admit I don't quite understand why that's the main point here, but I guess this stuff is on the mind of girls at this point age. If you try to force your perspective onto everything, you'll lose sight of the bigger picture. Although she doesn't look entirely satisfied by my response, Amani mutters a brief, well, all right, rises from her from the chair and heads back to her own seat. I watch until she finally sits down, then quickly turn to look behind me. No. What's up, Meech? No, I'm just, dude, she is super cute, man. <laughs> Immediately behind me, I find a bright red Michiru staring back at me. Were you listening? No, but... <laughs> dude, this is great. <laughs> man. I understand the appeal. Crossing her arms tightly in front of her chest, her face bright red, Mitru babbles frantically. In response, I thrust out my right hand and an energetic thumbs up. <laughs> nice and dairy, Michiru. If you don't want to talk about something, you should make it awkward to ask. Based on that theory, I tried spicing things up a little more than the reality, but who knows how much of it they believed. Of course, it's true that my parents died when I was still a kid, that I was picked up by an older woman, my master, and that I lived off the money she earned. After my master's death, I did get work from her friend JB in order to earn my keep. On top of that, it's thanks to her vouching for me that I'm able to attend a normal school like this in the first place. Sorry, my nose it's just real bad. <sighs> Apologies. Huh, now that I think about it, I didn't change the facts much at all. But then, the more you focus on constructing believable lies, the less they tend to work. When you stick more or less to the truth, you'll end up convincing people no matter how absurd the story sounds. A promising start would be a bit of an overstatement, but I think I can work with this. No matter what sort of life you're living, you'll run into people who just won't listen to what you have to say. When words don't get through, the easiest alternative is beating them into submission. Certainly a bit of a rough simple solution, but when you're dealing with another man, it's at least an option. But when you're dealing with a woman, let alone a shrimp of a girl who doesn't come up to your shoulder, it's a different story. If you start swinging your fists around out of irritation under those circumstances, anyone would call it bullying the weak. It's bad style, leaves an unpleasant taste in your mouth too. What's called for in such situations is perseverance and patience. They're always saying we live in an age of technological wonders. So I've been waiting for someone to invent a machine you can stick on your back and switch to Zen-like, instantly granting your infinite self-control. That would be helpful. But despite the clear market potential, the world isn't yet such a convenient place. Well, no big deal. I'm pretty used to endurance tests by now. Oh. Hey Makino, how you been? It's been five minutes since I spotted Irisu Makino wandering aimlessly around the campus and called out, What are you up to? in a casual tone. On the bright side, she reacted to my voice and stopped dead in her tracks instead of fleeing. But the next step is proving a little more problematic. The girl is just staring up at my face. She hasn't said a word. Can you not speak Japanese? <sighs> Silent as always, Makina shakes her head back and forth in denial, apparently having understood my question. Are you afraid of me, maybe? <sighs> her silence continues, and this time there's neither confirmation nor denial. 
Seems unlikely that she didn't understand the question, which would mean this one is in uncertain territory, somewhere between yes and no, as far as I can guess. I'm repeating myself, but this sort of communication takes a lot of patience and persistence. I try to consciously consider things from Machina's point of view. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, it's a little early in the morning for me usually. I'm usually sleep in a little later than this. A transfer student with an unclear background. What's more, a man 178 centimeters high. From the perspective of Machina, who I'd guess to be around 140 centimeters, it might well be a little intimidating to have me towering above her. For the moment, I crouch down so that my eyes are level with hers. It seemed like you were wandering around the grounds. Are you looking for something? <laughs> Machina speaks a single word in a quiet voice and once again shakes her head in denial. Then what were you doing? That's a point of some interest to me, but, well, if you get down to it, wherever she is and whatever she's doing is her own business, I suppose. I'm not a policeman, and I don't have any reason to drag it out of her. In this case, it might be best to find some words to wrap this up cleanly. Give her a friendly goodbye and let this timid creature be on her way. But just as a recess conclusion, Machina slowly moves her hand to the rear of her skirt. Grab something with her stubby fingers and push it in front of my eyes. Well, what's this thing? At a glance, the item in Machina's small hand is a toy-like object, roughly the size of an egg, with an LCD screen buried into the center. Is that a Tamagotchi, dude? It is a Tamagotchi! Hell yeah! Machina just shot up like three ranks. <laughs> okay. Let's... I, I want one. What's that? In closer examination, there's some unknown life form or monster. Most closer is only a chick displayed in blocky pixels on the central LCD. It seemed to be programmed with some cheap animations, about three patterns or so. Ah. Come to think of it, I remember reading a news article about this a few years ago. After developing the smallest three-axis geomagnetism sensor in the world at the time, a certain company fed that technology into a children's electronic toy, which then became an explosive hit among grade schoolers. It's a pedometer, right? One of the things where the pet grows up faster the more you walk? Oh, man. Okay. I didn't expect to like Machina as much as I suddenly do, but I really like her now. <laughs> Nodding her head, Machina returns the pedometer in her hand to her waist. In other words, she wasn't looking for anything in particular. Her wandering itself was the objective. Walking's a good thing, since it's aerobic exercise without too much strain on the joints. And if you're going to walk anyway, having some sort of visible result from the effort might make it feel more worthwhile. <laughs> Makita points at the school gate as she speaks. I see. It makes sense that she'd want to avoid crowded places given her extreme shyness. That would restrict her strolls to pacing around the school grounds, which would quickly get repetitive. So the digital pet serves a distraction from that boredom, most likely. You like taking walks? Mm. Sorta, of, is it? Well, walking for fun at this age might be a little odd. Seems more like the hobby of an old man. You have any other interests? Like reading, for example? Reading any books lately? Hmm. Manga's fine too, whatever. To tell the truth, I'd already heard from Amane that Makina often reads books, and reading is a hobby of mine as well. I think it's a decent common topic for starters. In response to my question, Makina holds her right index finger to her chin and mumbles, hmm, while gazing up at the sky. Quiz, huh? Was it interesting? Hmm. I mean, she gets so excited sometimes. Okay. And I really like... Uh... I really like mocking it now. Uh, let's see. I want to think about this uh, a little bit. Dangerous sweet. It's life-threatening to observe with the naked eye. It's going to be something real obvious and stupid. But I want to think about this one.
Sorry about that. Uh, oh shoot, I don't know. What? Well, I threaten to observe with the naked eye. What kind of death ray weapon is that? In a suite of all things. This is it's gonna be some some new tech from the wet. This is looking at it as dangerous. I mean, it's probably some variety of optical weapons, something like an X. He's overthinking the hell out of this. It's a word. It's a word. It's a word play, my man. Oh wait, I'm just seeing it as dangerous. Some sort of super weapon that radiates a pulse at the receptors of the eyeball, using a flickering pattern to stimulate the brain cells and trigger accelerated apoptosis. Hold it, hold it. This thing is a sweet, right? Sweet. Where the hell do we go from there? All I'm getting is some sort of chocolate pastry shouting out a mysterious beam of light. Pew, pew, pew. UG, it's a pun. Dude, it's gonna be a pun or some sort of wordplay. No, I give up. What's the answer? Candy. Oh, I don't. Okay, I don't get that one. Okay, and C and I. Okay. All right, I get it. I get it. That joke also probably makes more sense in Japanese, but I get it well enough. Man, <laughs> I didn't think I'd like Machina this much at first, but I really do, dude. That's super cute. I love it. I get it. I missed that angle. Candy. <laughs> yeah, sorry to hold you up. Without even a buy or later, Makina leaves the area at a trot as if fleeing from me. It doesn't seem like she outright hates me, though. How long have you been there? What do you mean by the opposite? あ、まあ、なんつうか、単純に人見知りってのもあるけど、マキナはユージ君に嫌われないようにしてるんだと思うよ。Trying to not be disliked. マキナって本当はもっと明るい子なんだけど、明るすぎてうざがられることも多いから。あ、みんな。I'm I'm here for it. Let's go. True enough, I remember seeing her rushing around brandishing a cicada and cackling the first time. If that's her normal state, then the way she behaves in front of me would certainly be a product of deliberate self-restraint, but... That does... That, that follows. That tracks. I think it could be interpreted as simple fear as well. What makes you say that? Sanki, Makina to Kaiwa Sirutoki, Yuzikun, Makina no Messenni Ausete, Kosho Hikokusta de Shaw? Adet de Jitsua, Yuko Shudan Nanda, eh? Yeah. When I was a kid, there was a time I'd been surrounded by unfamiliar adults and found myself on the brink of tears. When one of the adults stooped down to talk with me face to face, I immediately got emotionally attached. Looking back, I feel like shouting, You sure got attached to an outrageous person, or complaining about what an idiot I was, but. <laughs> Now she's glued to you or something like that. あ、うん。確かにべったりだけど、言うほどいつも一緒ってわけじゃないわよ。マキナは基本的に一人で遊ぶ方が好きだし。Okay. All right. Uh, I am actually going to pause here for a little bit. I'm going to end the YouTube episode here. Uh, you know, as usual, thanks for joining me. Uh, we will be right back into this. I'm going to do probably shorter episodes just so I can have more episodes come out, if that makes any sense. Instead of like 45 to an hour, I'll probably keep them around half an hour. Um, unless I get super into a part of the story or something is, you know, crazy. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like the video, uh, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch, all the good usual social stuff. So. See you later. I got something to take care of real quick also, so bye-bye.